So today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to prove that when we reflect something over two parallel lines, it's twice the distance than the distance over the two lines. So I need you guys to now be quiet. You should have this out in front of you. And we're going to go through this together. I'm just going to do case one. You guys are going to do case two, case three, and then case four and five, you need a separate sheet of paper to do. There should be no talking right now. If you have a question, please raise your hand. Yes. Um, do you have a spare password? Yes. Okay. All right. So we are looking at problem number one. Shh. Case number one. Again, I'm only going to do this one with you. So you need to pay attention so that you can do the other four cases on your own. Okay. The first thing I suggest is taking your ruler and drawing a line. I want it to go through A. I want it to be perpendicular to my two parallel lines. The rulers are nice because we can make sure it's perpendicular because those little tick marks on my ruler need to go right on top of my parallel lines and we make sure it goes through A. There is my nice perpendicular line. Okay. We're going to reflect over line one first, and then we're going to reflect over line two. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I need to mark the distance from my triangle or point A to line one. Now, we don't know if this is drawn to scale. We can't get out our ruler and measure it. So we're going to make up a variable to say that it is. So from A to line one, what do you guys want to say? What variable? C works. I usually use X because C sometimes looks like a six for me. Okay. So I'm going to use X. But if you want to use C on your paper, that's fine. Just when I do it, sometimes it looks like a six. And then people are like, it's six what? Six inches? Six? And I'm like, no, it's a C. Yes, I do. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is ask you to be quiet one more time. Unless you have a question for me, there shouldn't be any talking. It will not take very long, okay? Okay, so I'm going to take my patty paper at this point, and I am going to trace my triangle, making sure I label this A. And I'm also going to trace this line, and I'm going to trace line one. I'm also going to make sure I trace the X so I know that's the distance. Shh. One more time, because I'm sick of asking this. There shouldn't be any talking unless you have a question for me. Okay, so I've traced, can you guys see everything I've traced? I've traced that line, I've traced X, I've traced my triangle. I've made sure to trace or write down A somewhere. It's hard for me to trace A, so I just wrote A further up. So far so good? Okay, now I'm gonna pick up my patty paper and I wanna reflect this over line one. So I'm literally turning my piece of patty paper upside down and then I'm putting line one back on top of line one. Turn it up. So I'm flipping it over. So here you go. This is a reflection. We flip it over the line. Do you guys see this up here? Okay, now I'm just going to make sure the important parts that I need to do is I need to make this X right here. It's harder to trace it onto the paper, so I kind of pick it up and do it. So that's not the most perfect triangle I've ever traced, but it's there. Okay. Now I'm going to just kind of turn my patty paper a little bit. And I need to reflect this new triangle. This is A image. One more time, I need you to stop talking. One more time, and then you guys need to leave. Yep. So, I've labeled my distance between line one and A, X. 
and then I've reflected A over line 1. That distance is X. I know it because I moved the patty paper there, right? Now I'm going to need to reflect my image A triangle over line 2. But the issue is from A to line 2, I don't have a distance written down. What do you think that distance needs to be? Y. Y is great. My Y's usually look like Y's. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my patty paper. I turned it over because I don't want to use a new piece of patty paper for this. And I am going to trace line two. And then I'm going to trace everything from A. I've got Y, X, X, and then I have image A. I don't need to write down my original triangle because I'm not reflecting that anymore. So I can ignore my original triangle and my original A. But I do need to write down my image A. Everybody good so far? No. What are we confused about? I'd love a hand raised. Yes, Kayla? We're tracing the new A, not the old one. We're not using that one anymore. We're not reflecting over it. Okay. Does everybody have image A, X, X, Y, and line two? Okay, I'm going to wait another minute. I'm sorry, Kayla, I didn't hear you. Uh-huh. I am now going to pick up my patty paper, flip it, and put line two back on top of line two. Okay, so my image, my double image A should be all the way over here. You're reflecting it. Usually when we talk about shifting, we mean um, a translation, and this is a reflection, so we usually say we flip it. And we've got y, x, x. So this is what you should have on your paper. There are two more things we're going to write down and then we're done. Yes, Kayla. Okay. Yeah. So I traced all of this, right? And then I flipped my patty paper over. And then I looked underneath to make sure to draw that. It was a little bit harder than tracing it. With a pencil? Does it show up sometimes through? Okay. What is the distance between line one and line two? What's the distance between line one and line two? X, Y. We're going to say X plus Y. Okay. Because if X and Y were numbers, we'd add them together to get the whole thing. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now my second question is what is the distance between A to A double prime? Before you answer that, what should it be? We just learned this in the last quiz and with the composite over parallel lines. So the distance between the two lines should be what to get the total translation? Parallel. Two times. So it should be twice as big. So look from A to A double prime. Just A to A double prime. How many X's are there? So we could say 2X. How many Y's are there? Two Y's. We could even factor out a 2 to make it more obvious that it is twice the distance. And that's what we want to get each time. That the distance between line 1 and line 2, if we times that by 2, we get the distance between A and A double image. Questions? Yes. This is the rest of um, today and tomorrow. You're going to work on it. On Thursday, we're going to do it with intersecting lines. I mean, Friday, we're going to do it with intersecting lines. And we're going to finish that up on Monday. But your next quiz will be over this stuff.
You'll have to, you'll get points for the drawing and you'll get points for the distances, okay? Before you start on your next one, let's look real quick at your homework. Okay? We have a bunch of our classifying lines right up here. Acute, right, up to straight, complementary, perpendicular, supplementary, a linear pair, okay? All of that fun stuff that perpendicular lines make right angles. And so we have to name the angle which appears to be acute, obtuse, and right from the picture. Name five pairs of supplementary angles that add up to 180. Seven and nine form a blank. What supplementary, complementary, perpendicular, whatever, straight line. Okay, so it's gonna ask us all these questions. Remember, we don't know any of the numbers on here except we know angle seven is 90. And then in other instances, it might tell us that angle 10 is 32. So how would you figure out what, you know, an angle 11 would be? And this is just like one through three is using this picture. Four through seven is using the fact that 10 and 11 are complementary. Eight, nine, and 10 are using the fact that 12 and 13 are complementary. 11, 12, and 13 are using the fact that 13 and 14 are complementary and 14 and 15 are supplementary, okay? So just make sure you read all the direction parts of it and you should be okay. It gives examples at the top of what all those things are, okay? So this is due tomorrow. This you have time to work on tomorrow in class as well. Before you leave today, I would love it if you did one more so you were really sure how to do this and ask questions if you need to, because then tomorrow you could pretty much do the rest on your own. Okay? I will be here tomorrow. I'm going to leave this up here? Okay. I'm going to do that. All right. I'm stopping the recording now.